Hey guys, um, so I'm doing a new video, doing a book cover for Lord of the Flies, super dark book. If you haven't read it, I recommend it. It's incredible. Uh, I'm going to be recording hopefully the full, all the steps in the process of going from the thumbnails phase, which is the sketching of the ideas for potential, you know, variations of the covers to, you know, picking a few and going through more polished color you know, variations, and then onto the final polished uh, illustration. So uh, here we are in Photoshop, and I've got down here, I've got a list of the elements from the book that I want to use in the illustration. Go, just go through them really quick. There's a sow's head or, or pig's head on a stick, uh, which actually kind of represents Satan in the book. Uh, sorry, spoiler alert. Um, in fact, Lord of the Flies, uh, Beezlebub, which is the old you know, uh, an ancient word for the Satan uh, actually means Lord of the Flies or Lord of the Insects or something like that. So we can see that that our author, William Golding, uh, certainly is using that as a symbolic um, figure in the story. Um, anyways, I don't want to get into all the story stuff, but um, uh, if you have read the book and you do watch these videos, if you want to post anything in the in the into the replies, any comments or like, oh, you should think about this or that's not right or anything that would be that would be awesome so we've got a, a pig's head on a stick they kill the pig and offer it to the beast and uh, one of the boys has a some interaction and conversation with this super creepy um, head pig's head on a stick and it's a really dark moment in the in the story so that's definitely going to be in some of these variations because it's a really powerful moment boys with spears obviously some of them are there towards the end of the story they're putting on you know, blood, they're wiping their bodies with blood and mud, and, and it's kind of a war paint thing. Fire, you know, um, there's a lot of fire throughout the story. Signal fires, um, they, they actually end up lighting. They try to smoke out one of the characters at the end to try and catch him because they're going to, you know, kill him or hurt him. Uh, there's, a, there's a shell or a conch, which they use to blow like a trumpet to summon the boys to meetings. Uh, there's tropical plants, obviously, because it's on an island, on a tropical island. And then uh, clouds, gray, cream, copper colored. I just grabbed, the, I just listed that because that was something I saw in one of the scenes and I thought that was kind of cool. So we've got, we'll say five, the first five elements are really the most pop, the most important to play with, I think, to convey uh, some of the major visual uh, elements from the story. Uh, another thing I'm going to be playing with a lot is uh, scale, like different sizes of things, because I like to play with scale of these elements and just see what we can come up with. So. I'm going to stop talking and let's start making some thumbnails. I'm going to, I'm only going to spend a few minutes on each thumbnail and then I'm just going to drag them over here to another, to collect them in one file or image. And again, these things I'm doing very quickly, very aggressively. They're just to get the idea out. They're not to polish or mess around with detail or even color. I'm really just going black and white uh, just to explore ideas. So it's very blue sky, idea, Asian, however you want to call it. We're just... We're trying to get out as many variations as possible. Later, we can decide which ones we're excited about or we're drawn to. But right now, we just don't want to limit ourselves to one or two options. We want to really try to get out as many possibilities as we can. So let's let's just get let's jump into it. Um, oops. So yeah. So this this file that I'm working in that I'm going to be doing these these thumbnails in is quite small. Uh, it's you know, eight and, a half, eight and a half by 11 at 75 resolution, because what's going to happen is I'm going to bring these over into this file and I'm just going to collect a lot of thumbnails. So again, I'm not worried about creating anything beautiful or amazing. Just, you know, I'm going for tone. That's the other thing I want to mention is tone. This book is super dark. So it's almost, it's pretty much a horror story in my mind. Like it's, you know, evil, uh, and the inherent evil and in, within mankind is one of the is probably the major theme in this book. So this is a super dark uh, story. So we're gonna go we're gonna be going dark, deep, deep down into the dungeon for this one to do uh, something pretty intense and dark. Um, next, maybe in the next, well, I'm gonna mix it up. Maybe next time we'll do, I don't know, Romeo and Juliet or Pride and Prejudice or something like something much lighter. But right now we're starting with a dark one. So just FYI. Uh, it's going to go dark. So let's go ahead and give ourselves like a nice gray value kind of background. 
Um, well, we can go a little bit. Oh, I got this little value um, slider, not even a slider, just a range, uh, it's kind of a range here that I can pick from so I don't have to like go to my color pickers and mess around with all that. It just takes too much time. So, all right, so we got our elements. Um, one idea I had, and I've had a few ideas before, so I'm gonna go ahead and just start executing some of the ideas I had. One idea I had is the sow's head. And I'm not going to be able to draw a sow's head, by the way. I've never done that. Later, I'll look for, for reference when I need to. But um, right now, we're just going off instinct. And we're keeping it. And I'm going to see how small I'm working here. Like, again, no detail. So let's say that we want a pig's head. And uh, we'll see how, f how I mean, I probably will mess around with fonts and stuff, but maybe I'm not going to get into any like specific details. I probably will be thinking about like placement on the page. Um, one thing too is like the Lord of the Flies. I was thinking about maybe a, a halo of flies over the head. Just for that like biblical reference. And then... Um, And then we've got like, there's gonna be, f you know, foliage. And I'm playing with my layers here to kind of get some options. Um, again, we're, I'm not, really I'm not going to I'm not going into detail you know okay so and then like if this was our let's say we wanted to go like really dark you know and then we could have some a font like so again what would that took about 3 or 4 minutes and we're just going to make that one of our options, there's no boys, it's just the pig's head. Um, so I accidentally drew some stuff off the canvas. So what I'm going to do is just crop this to the size of the image. And now we've got our first. Now we could actually, you know what I'd like to do? Let's just come in here and use our dodge and burn just to give this a little, a little bit of love. So we're drawing some attention to this creature or character. Okay. That looks a little bit nicer. Whoops. So th now we've got one in the can, right? And again, we'll, for, we'll worry about color later. We're just trying to, we're just going to bust out as many concepts. One, another idea I had was like, dot. so there's an island, right? So I was thinking like maybe, maybe we do an island, like, um, So here's there's the water, there's our ocean, and then we've got an island in the ocean, right? And then I was thinking like, so this island, and we have some like foliage, some tropical plants, some, you know, we've got some and we would go crazy if we if we ended up doing this we'd go crazy with the foliage later but we're just going to give it like a really basic kind of thing here all right so we've got an island and then i was thinking like maybe the the stick just comes like straight out of the island with the head 
and uh, as you can see, I don't really. Well, that doesn't. That looks kind of piggish, doesn't it? Okay. See, I've. Uh, I'm already messing up because I'm drawing, doing everything on one layer. It's okay. It's just a thumbnail. Don't get attached to these. As long as it conveys the idea that you're going for. Um, let's do some flies. Again, we could do that halo thing if we wanted. Um, I don't know. We, it's interesting. And then let's do like some boys on top of the island here holding spears. And, you know, that's what's cool about these thumbnails is like if you don't really like it, just move on to the next. One. I mean, get it out. You know what I mean? But if you're not crazy about it, just move on to the next one and that's fine. Um The thing that gets a little tricky is like how much time do I want to spend on the fonts at this stage? I mean, not not even like the picking the font or anything like that, or tr exploring fonts, but just where do I want the type? Might where would I might want the type to go? Mm. Delicious coffee. Um, so I don't know. You know, it could go. Let's let's be bold and let's play around. So let's say we want to do something like. Lord of the just I don't know just because we don't want we don't always want the um, everything in the center you know I mean you could do it down here but why not this is different why not do something a little different right um, we can always do that that's and in fact, that's my tendency is to do everything centered, like a lot with fonts and stuff, which, so that's, that's part of my weakness, I think, as a designer is that I need to take some more bold uh, steps to get away from that sort of, so, sort of thing. So, um, let's just give this thing a little bit more drama. Um, I like theatrical, dramatic lighting, so I'm going to come in here and just do a little bit of this kind of a thing. Um, let's make this water darker. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's okay. Let's just keep moving. You know, again, these, if you focus, if you want these to be super amazingly beautiful, well, you can, it's just, you just, it's just going to take a lot longer. I'm going to try to make this video about 30 minutes or one hour. We'll see how I do. Uh, this could easily go for an hour, just 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 doing thumbnails. Um, another idea I had was the island is actually the pig's head. I thought of this in the shower earlier, which I thought was kind of an interesting idea. So it's the same kind of thing where we've got like, we'll have the ocean, except now we're gonna have this mass it's going to be like a pig's head. And again, don't worry about the whether or not it, how accurately it looks like a pig's head, guys. I mean, when you're doing these thumbnails, like you can you can worry about those proportions. I mean, to some extent, you should have some idea of the shape of the object because that will affect your composition and your silhouette and stuff. However, I'm not going to spend the next 5, 10, 20 minutes like looking at pig's heads and like trying to get it perfect cuz I this you know there's a there's a there's a mass, some ears and a snout, we get the idea. Later I can fine tune it to make it, you know, much more accurate to the sh to the size and the shape. So, um and then what I was thinking was like So I guess this would be the island, right? So maybe we also have off of the the base of the head, we have like some land where it's like clearly an island. Let's just make this one shape for now. Later we'll, we can play with it. So, um, you know, there's this head, this uh, 
pig's head just sitting at the on the base of this landmass. Maybe we maybe it's got like some beady eyes. Um, and then like again, we can have the boys. Uh, maybe we have the stake coming through the head. We don't need it to be that thick, do we? And then I'm just going to zoom in a little bit just to get these figures. Again, we, these don't need to be really just a head and a body is fine. So that's what I was saying about playing with scale earlier. Like, it's kind of fun to play with scale, right? The other thing that happens with scale is that you start to like tell the reader what's important in the story. Like, if you make the the, the pig's head huge and the figures small, you're kind of, in a way, saying this this visual thing you're seeing on the cover is really important. It has I'm giving it this much space on the cover. Obviously, it's a very important thing in the story, right? Um, you know, to be honest with you, I'm not, I'm not in love with how, how good these <laughs> thumbnails look, but they are getting the idea out. If I wasn't doing this on video and I wasn't trying to do it timed, I'd probably, I might spend a little bit more time on these and try and make them a little cooler, but, um, uh, it's okay. Um, as long as we get the idea, that's the important thing, right? So I'm trying to think of what else. Yeah, I think this one, let's give the, let's make it a little bit darker in the background. And then the other thing I was thinking of doing with this one was like the fire. So like having like even part of the head on fire and I'm just going to come behind the head and just give this thing some flames. And then there would be smoke. I'm gonna go behind that. Lighten this up a bit so we can see that smoke better. And you get the idea. And then we'll just throw some flames on the foreground as well. And maybe some sparks coming off. So this is pretty intense, right? You got this boar's head on top of an island, which is part of the island. The boys standing on top and the things on fire. I mean, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty dark, right? Uh, now the boys are getting kind of lost, right? They're getting lost in that smoke. So let's bring that smoke. Let's lighten the smoke so we can um, see them. Okay. So we want them to read. Um, it's just an idea. It's so to make this even darker. Why not, right? I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna make this. A little bit smaller and bring it up here a little bit. Um, what did I do? Did I bring, oh, that's part of the background. Okay, that's all right. We'll just roll with it. So we're gonna make that a little smaller. And now we're gonna stretch this out. The other thing I was thinking was um, and this might be it's it see that so one thing you have to be careful or I have to be careful about is like getting too busy with the image like too much stuff going on but an idea I had was like So this is Smokey over here. 
All right, so one idea I had was like, we want flies. And then one I had, idea I had was like, maybe the words, and this is where we get into where the thumbnails become very helpful to see if our idea that we had, that we may have had on the bench four hours before has actually got any, um, if it's useful or if it's possible or if it, if it's, if it turn if it's, if it's got some weight to it. So as you can see, I'm trying to spell out the word Lord with the flies and then maybe I just throw a couple other, and that, that could be something that gets resolved later. And then maybe here we just say like of the, now I'm not really crazy about that. Let's say we do, um, I don't know. Um, let's just put it here for now. Maybe that's something we could resolve later. And then one, one thing I was thinking was like, maybe this, maybe there's like blood that comes down like off the head. It's almost like a river or waterfalls or something, right? Coming and then maybe it like, Maybe it spells out flies. Just an idea. Um, I don't know. It's something different. Let's keep going. So you can see I'm collecting them all over here. Uh, how did that guy end up bigger? Oh, I know why. This guy ended up bigger too, didn't he? Let's just chop that guy up real quick. And then this guy, we want to do the same thing. Crop. And there we go. All right. Um, this one is interesting, but I could see it getting a little too busy. Um, but I don't know. Uh, if it was done really well and I walk by it in the bookstore, I might double check. I might take a double, you know, um, double take and say, what the heck is that? What's going on on that book cover? Um, back, back to square one. Another idea I had. We've got a boy. And he's like kind of hunched over and he's holding he'd be I don't know I don't know about that um, let's do something else I don't want to get too crazy so what we're just going to do is like a boy Do them off center. And then maybe we've got this beer like there, right? And then for his face, I mean, uh, he may not even his he may not even his face might not even make it in this composi composition. But we're just gonna. He's not a happy dude. He's like, I haven't had a shower. But the idea I was thinking of would be, um, let's lighten this up. So the idea I had was that his heart would be the sow's head. I mean, this this could very well be a terrible idea, but you won't know until you 
get it out, right? Is that a sow's head? It looks like a wolf. Yeah, it looks like a cow. There you go. Huh. That looks better. And they got bigger ears, don't they? Oh, there you go. That looks like a pig. Um, give him some beady eyes. Hey, he looks happy. So then the idea was just like, this was going to be his heart. Um, <laughs> it's not really, his face is screwing with me right now. I don't know why I'm going to erase that. And you know what? Let's just bring this, let's get his head. Like, we don't need his face in the image, you know? Because it's not about his face. So the idea would be that the veins would come out and spell and then maybe we've got like over here the just an idea. I'm not crazy about it either. <laughs> but you got to get the bad ones out sometimes before you can get to the good ones, you know? So yeah, I mean, the, the idea here is just that, you know, evil is in the heart. Not It's not without, it's within. So, um, could work, or it could turn out awful. Um, let's tell everyone where we want them to look. And then, like, these boys have shorts. And that's about all they got on. And then what do we want behind them? We want... Foliage. Sweet succulent foliage. Maybe we could go darker with him. You know? I mean, it's at least it's looking like a little bit more presentable. And we're just, we're going, we're, you know, we're doing dark in the foreground, kind of middle value in the middle ground, and then the background lighter. We're going lighter, and that always kind of gives the uh, illusion of space, darker to lighter. It's not always appropriate, but it, it just makes sense when you're doing these thumbnails at this scale. Just to quickly get something out. Go a little darker with these foreground guys. So we say, which be clear about that. All right, that's fine. 
we get the idea. Whoa. How do I keep forgetting to do that? All right. So there's a scene in the book where this character, Simon, he's kind of like the religious, spiritual, good-natured, <clears throat> kind of Christ-like kid, if you want to call him that, of the group. He's the one that has this moment with the, the sow or the pig's head. And the, the pig's head talks to him. And I remember the first time I read it, I was like, oof, that's dark. It's because it's like, it feels like Satan, you know, talking to him telling him like ha 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 you thought you could there you thought there was a beast on this island you thought you could kill the beast the beast is you you are the beast it's within you kind of and so simon has this self-realization that you know there's no killing the beast like evil is within it is not without it's just a really cool scene so and then for whatever reason he there's a part where he like he gets kind of overwhelmed by this moment and he sees himself, or he gets lost in the darkness of the mouth and then he like passes out. So I was thinking maybe there could be a, like an image where we have the pig's head like super large on the page. And then like, let's go lighter. I don't know. Um, and then we could even have the stick kind of like coming up like that. And then I was thinking it'd be cool to like, again, I know this doesn't look like a pig, but that's okay. We'll worry about that later. Um, Maybe we have like him in here sort of doing something. You know what I'm saying? His eyes would be like. I don't know. Um, let's make this mouth open bigger. <clears throat> I'm just going to select it and kind of drop it down. Let's give ourselves some more room to work with here. That's uh, pretty horrifying already, isn't it? Um, and something like this might be the route to go, just like just that full that pig's head pig's head boom across the whole cover and just like you're, you're like whoa it's just the horror of that dead you know what i mean it's just like all the wrinkles and uh, just be disgusting and like the blood uh but maybe we have like 
I don't know. Um, I guess I was thinking maybe we have like a little figure here. He's like trying to get out. He's like running and reaching. I don't know, it doesn't really read, does it? Gotta work on that for a minute. Mm. I like a little boy here. Help. He's kind of like. It's like almost like he's getting pulled into the throat or something. I don't know. He's reaching out. Just, you'd have to make that really simple, but also like clear. But otherwise it's just gonna like get really weird and complicated in there. Oh, you know what? I got a good idea. Better idea anyways. I don't know if it's good. Let's have like, Let's have him kind of like, as if he's like crawling out of the mouth and he's like reaching out like more like a lot bigger. We don't need all of like his lower torso, his legs or any of that. He's just like, just desperately trying to get out of this mouth, you know. Um, that would all have to get resolved, but I think you get the idea. I mean, we can even go in here and just do like, ah, uh, help, you know? I mean, that's pretty horrifying. <laughs> this kid like I don't know getting sucked into this mouth but that's kind of not too far from what actually happens in the book in a weird way so it's certainly a relevant option to, to and then we've got our flies here uh, and then the where would we want to put the font let's go darker on all of this I think here is somewhere where we could kind of I don't know, let's let's do something different, why don't we? Let's play around with our fonts. So let's do something like kind of cool um, and then we could like use our dodge and burn just to give this thing a little bit of sort of volume you know and then I still think we could always add some uh, foliage like tropical plants kind of a thing And we could even have something kind of come in here in the fore foreground a little bit if we wanted. Just an idea.
Yeah, every time. I knew I, I even knew it before I sent it or brought it over. How are we doing on time? Hmm. Yeah, it's been about 30 minutes. Well, obviously, I have a long ways to go. I'm going to try and do, we've got four or five. I'd like to do, I was hoping to do like 20, but uh, let's just see if we can keep going. Oh, we definitely don't want that. All right. And this one actually, let's let's get those light wider's a little wider. Yeah. I'll right, we'll just leave it for now. All right, so let's so those were some of the main ones I had already kind of had just kicking around in my brain. So we've got a sow's head on a stick, boys with spears, fire, conch, tropical plants. Fire is definitely something we could play more with, I think. Fire is a pretty big, um, you know, pretty big symbol or, or motif in the, the novel. Okay. Um, let's do, I don't know, let's just do do our boys in the foreground. Like as a group. I'm just going to just sketch out some like really simple f figures. And now I can just kind of go in and just give these guys a little bit of value. One thing I kind of like the idea of would be um, that they're kind of lighter at the base and their faces are just kind of masked in shadow as we go down. So you can't even see their faces, it's just like kind of a noir shadowy thing going on. You know what I'm saying? Um, now here we could do a lot of things. We've got this kind of happening at the base. Uh, I think this would be cool. I know we've kind of already done a lot of this already, but this would probably be a good place to have our Lord of the Flies above it, kind of directing things, you know? Um, I think he's too high. And if we give him a halo of flies. So we give him a halo, right? Obviously it's a halo. And then we just throw a few more around. But you still get the, uh, the sense that it's a halo around his head. And it does describe him as grinning and with black blood between the teeth, so probably should give him kind of a creepy. It, it's, it's hard to make stuff like this really read, you know, in the thumbnail when you're just busting stuff out super fast and dirty. Um, 
or maybe someone that's a better artist than me could could do a better job of just busting something out really quick but um but i'm just really i'm more concerned with like just the the silhouettes and the shapes and the composition at this stage i don't really want to I don't really want to spend any time on anything else. Uh, once I once I find a composition that I'm really in, think is the best, then we can spend all the time in the world trying to make it look cool and make it look pretty. So um, you know what I'm going to do: foliage. And this is just approximations of the foliage. Um, again, if this is the composition we decided we wanted to do, we could, you know, make it a lot, spend a lot more time on the foliage and make it a lot, a lot nicer looking. Yeah, um, let's do, let's bring it, the whole thing a little darker, and then we can go in and do one of these, kind of, and then the other thing we could do is, um, we could give these guys eyes if we wanted to kind of make them scary. And this may look cheesy or it might work. We'll s let's just give it a shot. Uh, yeah, I think I think that I think it's cooler without the eyes. Um, yeah, and then I think down here in the darkness would be a good place. It's almost like they're just kind of in the shadows, you know, it's like they don't even, maybe, maybe you have to look at the image for a minute to see them. Like maybe they just blend in with the um, foliage, you know, if you're like walking by it and then like the more you look, you're like, oh, those are, those are boys and they look super creepy. We could go, um. Now I'm just going to play a little bit with font here. I don't know. It's a little too big. And then down here be like a novel by da 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 da. Right. And that's that's just what you would get if you were looking at it, you know, from twenty fifth, I don't know, ten feet away or fifteen feet away or something. Oh, is it the best piece of art ever? Not at all. But does it convey the idea? Yeah, it gets the idea across. Um, you know, do I wish these looked cooler? I do. I wish they were a little sexier and a little more stylish and a little more refined. Um, but um, I think what I'll probably do is like when I pick a couple of these that I really like, I'll, maybe I'll redraw them, like redo the thumbnail a little bit nicer and then we'll play with color and start, you know, trying to get it to evolve. Um, I kind of like this font. It kind of, we definitely want to do something rough. We don't want something refined and British. This isn't uh, Pride and Prejudice, right? So the, the words need to feel off kilter, even carved from wood, like, like a, 
a spear point or something, you know, something like edgy like that. All right, St let's stop talking and continue. All right, so we're just gonna What else? So, you know, anytime I'm not sure what I want to do for the next thumbnail, I'm just going to go back to my list of elements and say, okay, we got, the, we've done the sow's head a lot. Uh, let's go back to the, we got the conch. Yeah, let's play with the conch. So the conch is, it's, it's a, you know, it's a, um, it's a shell, right? So it's something like that, um, more or less. Something along those lines. So, I don't know. The conch to me is le like one of the least enticing objects to play with because I just think it's not the most potent symbol in the book. Not not nearly as potent as fire or blood or blood. That's another motif or, um, you know, the flies, the insects, things like that. Um, but we've already started it. So what can we do with the conch? Could have it on fire. We could have blood pouring out of it. Um, it actually gets broken in the book, the conch, which is a symbol for kind of the civility being destroyed. So maybe we, maybe we break, maybe we break this bad boy. The broken conch. Yeah, the conch kind of symbolizes their civility because it's their their object that they use for the democratic process. Like, you can only speak when you, anyone, if you want to speak, you have to be holding the conch. And later, uh, Jack and Roger, they kill Piggy. They throw it, they roll a boulder on him. Sorry, spoiler. And uh, the conch gets just completely smashed to pieces. And that's kind of, I mean, also killing one of your childhood uh, partners on the beach is also probably a point where the civility has broken down, but um, but yeah, the the conch is uh, is certainly a, a symbol for for that civility. And so I'm already not crazy about this because I've just broken all the pieces into the exact same size pieces. So let's uh, let's get a little bit more variety here because if everything's the same size it's really boring don't you know <coughs> um yeah i don't know this is a little boring i'm just gonna wrap this one up because i'm not really crazy about it i'm just gonna say it's it's on the sand it's like chilling on the sand. And how do we know it's on the sand? Well, we'll just do some little sand particles. And then, you know, maybe we need to do some, uh, some shadows so that it feels like it's kind of sitting on the sand. I don't know. I mean, out of out of all these ones I've done, and then just to do one that's like a broken conch on the sand would be, to me, it would be a, a serious waste of potential. In fact, I don't even I don't like this one at all, guys. I'm just gonna delete it. Um, let's go back to the fire. I think the fire is something, and also fire is so potent as far as like rage and wrath and anger and. Uh, and there's a lot of that in the story. So I think that's definitely something to bring in more. Um, they have a signal fire that they let it go out on top of the mountain. 
tropical plants and fire. Um, you know, we could, if we go back to the, the Beelzebub stuff, fire, it's hellish, you know? Um, and certainly by the end of this thing, Ralph is literally in hell running through fire from these kids that are trying to kill him. So, um, let's play with that. So let's do, let's just do some more with the sow's head. I have a feeling the sow's head's gonna have to be on this book cover, guys, to be honest. It's just a such a crazy thing, you know, it's so dark and, and it's so scary. Like, why would you do a conch shell when you can do a a uh a, a sow's head on a pike? It's just so much creepier. And then we got the tongue hanging out, you know. Actually, the it would have gotten cut off back here, you know. Not down here. This is the neck. So you're probably going to have some stuff sticking out like that. Anyways, I'm not the expert on dissecting pig's heads but I did realize that earlier I was like no this is not the neck this is the neck up here this is the bottom of the jaw which they would I guess they stuck the the pike through the bottom of the jaw up. anyways doesn't matter well it does actually for my visual design but not for uh, ice breaking conversational purposes so I guess what I was thinking was just simplify this and do foliage. And then more, f uh, let's go, no, that's fine. I mean, at this stage, I'm not that concerned with like the placement of the foliage, just kind of going for the feeling of it all. Maybe I should be more concerned with that, but I'm not. And then these guys would be kind of foregroundy. You know, so background we could lighten up as usual, just to kind of draw our eye to our focal point. And then I think here is where we could do the fire, right? So this is what I was saying earlier about like, and then if we're going to do that, we should um, we should go dark, darker overall, so we can really. So I'm just I'm just bringing down all the lights to more of a middle ground dark values and then on top of that we could start to do our fire So then we're going to go pick a very light value and just kind of play with it like so bring that down a little I guess And then, hell, we could even um, light this, this head as if it's being lit by the flames, which could just, again, bring more of the emphasis to, to this object.
And again, like I'm not trying to make this, as you can see, I'm not really spending a lot of time trying to make this super accurate. I'm just, cause it, cause like, if I don't like this, why do I want to spend 30 minutes on the concept? If I, if I am not crazy about the concept, it doesn't really make that much sense to, um, spend a bunch of time on it in my opinion. So that's kind of, kind of cool. Um, I don't know. I, we kind of lost the pig's head a little bit. Maybe if we make this background even darker, just a little bit. Um, and then let's kind of bring And then let's give this some sparks. We love sparks, don't we, off of flames? It's uh, it's something. Up here we could uh, go with something more subdued. Oh, you know what we could do? Let's do like Lord of the Flies, right? Let's say we want to make these words bigger. And now we're really getting into the, uh, now we're really going hard with the uh, Satan sort of symbolism. Um, like, uh, by uh, doing this, all these flames and stuff. But I think, I mean, yeah. The title of the book is Lord of the Flies. So Golding, the writer, Golding is literally telling us this is a super important, if not the most important thing of the book is this, the Lord of the Flies, which is this, you know, essentially evil incarnate. I'm just throwing this, this is our little, these kind of words are not that important. And then we're gonna go big again. And um, down here on this thumbnail where I have these, that that's kind of a cool font. We might want to end up doing something more like that. But the reason I wanted to do this, because I want to light these words up as well. That's why I wanted to make them big. So select the words and we're going to just give them some light underneath. as if the fire is kissing the bottoms of these words. We can hide that selection. Um, and then we just kind of do one of these. And we could, again, if we ever decided we wanted to do this, we could go in and make that, make that cooler looking, but you get the idea, I think. Um, we might, this, the dark to light might be causing a little bit of trouble. One thing we could try is to go lighter overall. And I'm just gonna um, go backwards and just save, save this progress for a second. Let's say we wanted to do that and then we could still light it. And then we could go a little, go a little darker at top. Uh, what are we playing with here? We're in the middle. Let's go a little darker. We just want the values to read on top of each other. That's the only thing. Well, we can compare. What do you think? Here's the dark one. Well, I don't want to start getting too into the details, so we're just going to call this one done. Later, we can, if that's the one we decide we like, we can play around with all of the, the details of the fonts and stuff. Oof. How are we doing on time? 
Yeah, we've been going for about an hour. Um, let's do one more and then I'll, I may do another video of these or I may pick one of these to take to the finish or we'll see. Let's just do one more. Try and make it quick. All right. So, tropical plants, fire, boys with spears. I feel like the boys, we could get the boys in there a little bit more. Um, one idea I had, which I haven't done, was essentially the boys were kind of on a ridge. Um, so, like, they were... And they would be kind of uh, on this ridge looking down at Ralph. So they're kind of over him in a very menacing way. Or maybe they're holding their spears like down towards him. I don't know. But they're like, they're like wraiths, you know? They're like. And there's like, maybe there's like all kinds of smoke behind them and fire. It should be kind of cool. Maybe they're like, the fire's kind of lighting up. Behind them. You just want to make them like really scary because they are scary in the book. They're literally trying to hunt this kid down. They're going to kill him. One in particular, this kid, Roger, he's like the sadistic one. But Jack is certainly capable of killing. I mean, they all are really. They killed Simon. Even our protagonist, um, Ralph, joined in and he kind of later was like, oh my God, what did I do? But they had this little... They thought he, would, for a minute, they thought he was the beast, but even they kind of realized he wasn't, and the bloodlust kind of took over, and that's where we get into the, that's where the whole book is kind of a comment on, um, just like what we're capable of as a species to doing to each other, and even, even the most level-headed, sort of reasonable one of the group can, um, can be turned or can have a lapse of morality or get carried away and do something he's not he didn't mean to um, but yeah they they're just kind of on this ridge looking down and then maybe we've got like maybe we've got um, maybe Ralph's down here on his own I don't know. This one, this one doesn't, just doesn't really make that much sense to me in my mind. You know, sometimes you have images like, oh, I know exactly what I do and to do for that book. I got this image in my mind. It's so clear. And then sometimes you just have these like really foggy kind of images. And then when you start to actually try to put it on the page, you're like, oh, yeah, it was pretty foggy. And that now it's not. And because it was foggy, it's uh, it's hard to to illustrate. It's hard to bring it out because you're just it was never solidified in your mind to begin with. I don't know. Mm. Not super crazy about where this is going. I mean, this to me, just kind of back to the sow's head on top of the sow's head thing. Um,
but that's that's not bad either you know it's like maybe it's just like an extreme close-up of this house head you know I don't know. I think that's good for now. Um, kind of running out of steam. So we'll just throw some... I kind of want the words to almost feel like they're made with sticks or something, you know? Like they're just tied together with twigs. I mean, we could even kind of do that, you know? William Golding. Da 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 da. All right. Well, these didn't turn out quite as amazing as I'd hoped, but um, that's how it goes as an artist, you know. And especially if you're just spending like five or ten minutes on each image, you just got to keep your expectations low. The point is, did we commun? Are they communicating with the elements that we want them to communicate? If the answer is yes, then you know, for the most part, we've done what we intended to do. So we can't beat up ourselves too much, even though we're good at that, or I am at least. I don't know about you guys, if you're an artist, but I think artists are pretty good at being hard on themselves about the work they create, and it's never good enough, especially if you're a perfectionist. But um, so these are the images. Just a, just a little quickly kind of look at them one last time. Um, uh, I don't know. Um, I think they all have some some strengths and weaknesses uh there's not one of them that i'm like oh that that's the one i have to do that one i think i think yeah i need to just i need to step away from these for a few hours or a day and just come back and, and then find figure out which one i'm excited the most about but uh thank you guys for watching and in the next video we'll probably choose one or two of these and and start m playing with color and start getting um you know start working out the details and, and the fi refining and then um and then we're on our way to creating a finished image once we once we pick one of these or two of these to flesh out so hope you guys have an awesome day or night depending on when you're watching this and i love you and i hope good things happen to you and uh see you in the next one thanks